All right. And here we are. I'm back. Job business uh, done. Now we can return to our glorious space program. So, by the way, we are in 99. Millennium. Okay. Right. Righty, righty, right. Uh, right. Haven't I already done this? I think I've done this already. Yeah, I can... For once, I can remember. I already did this. Uh, but okay, that's how it is. Uh, man. Ah, so... Yeah, um, we have five turns, four commands, that's 20, 20 commands. We lose drift, so we have to do something against that. Do every turn, and yeah, we have to uh, use one turn, four commands for thrusting for that. And we have to acquire a lot of a nav. It's here, it is not bad. We do this, do this. Maybe this again. And actually we need for uh, 25 right and 8. 25 nav and 8 data. That's what we're looking at. Resist please. Do not reduce by 2. But that was 2. We have lost 2 nav. No. Mm. Yeah, pretty straightforward. Love this. Without a hitch. Mm. Also, you know what? Let's do this. And maybe even that and you again. And I still need data in the next turn. Or can we do something to gain more data now? So this would be uh, too much. Uh, nav and data here. Can you take out one? Okay, so we start with... How's that? And six, twenty-four. We have three left. Still need... I could do this here, again. Thirty-six, eight. Drift looks okay, and drift would fall off by 2, that is 0 minus 1, we would be in the drift. I would have the 4 extra, yeah, it's 25, we are... Perfect, that's it, recharge. Aha, uh -huh. optimum. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4. Bam, here we are. One turn early. Greatest puzzle solver on Earth. Perfect. Okay, uh, it's weird that you cannot save the game after this. Yeah, I did this already before I went on a break. So, new research. So there is uh, 3, 6, 8, 10, 14, 16 left in missions. Buildings. There's one building left. We have 3, 6, and that's 11 research left in vehicles. And we need the SLS block. They are very important. Uh, by the way, uh, Zvezda 
Okay, let's go for ground tap. Let's research the ground tap. Or, or, wait a minute. No, you know what? Give me a filet landing. Yeah, let's do a filet. And we get this extra uh, yeah, mission. Object. Venusian lightning confirmed. The Eumeriner 8 satellite orbiting Venus has discovered clear evidence of lightning storms on the planet and found that such atmospheric electrical activity is more prevalent on Venus than on Earth. Rather than clouds of water, however, Venusian lightning is discharged by clouds of sulfuric acid. Uh, what I said like that is a money mission, I think. Yeah, that was the money mission. Uh, we shall go super cheap, as cheap as possible. Yeah, six hundred. Oh uh, yeah, Titan two, booster. Titan three, no Atlas. Ah ah ah! Yeah, look at that. Look at that thing. Um, upgrade points give me shock absorption plus five. Uh, contractor. Ah, there is no um, penalty for. There is no support. So we can take the penalty. We can make it incredibly cheap. And I'm opting for this. Make it super cheap. The Empyrean. Whatever. Confirm. Build. Oh, that has to be the cheapest rocket in history. New request mission on Neptune. What will that be? Neptune. Neptunian moons survey. Oh. Science. Lots of science, lots of support, yeah. I would like to do all the missions, also all the missions around U around Uranus. And since we should check the magnetics around Uranus. Okay. No mission slot available. Good. NASA is launching Saturn Orbiter in six months. New request mission on Earth. Wow, uh, could we all deny this? What, what is that? Stop that. Yeah, the missions are not planned anymore. Filet landing research complete. Uh, launch the Rosetta and Filet payloads to land on Comet uh, 67P Shur Yumov Gerasimenko and achieve new scientific discoveries to help better understand our universe. That's the weather satellite, the ultra cheap. Additional mission training options, funds. Seven percent payroll reliability. Ooh. Do it. Let's train for funds. Yeah, start that in June, please. Confirm mission setup. Ah, the 70% payload reliability are not good. Uh, Rosetta. Research Rosetta. And? Yay! New funding tier. Perfect. Well, the next one is... Oh, 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 okay, there is our... Space Telescope. <laughs> 90, 99. Crazy. What could possibly go wrong? Do it. Fast forward. Forward. Ah, oh yeah. There's our. Wow, look at the detail. That that is a fantastic model. Look at that. That is super detailed. Okay, we lose two drift uh, every day. So we have to increase it, and we have some options. So doubling, that is 
That is super helpful. Data is just an intermediate. 18 and 18. Okay, creating comms is not that hard. Nav is. Again, it's the stupid navigation. I mean, you could do this twice. So we've got bases. Close. <laughs> Fantastic. Additional data. Why not? So I think I have to do this and like this. And done. One turn early. 25% bonus reward. Correct. -a. And please resist. Task complete. Deploy space telescope systems. Mm, look at that, you also lose three drift per turn. We have three commands addressing the drift. Actually, not bad. Look at that, that is tripling. Doubling, tripling, uh, not even tripling, that is doubling, uh, not even doubling, that is doubling, that is doubling. I should do this. Oh yeah, and nav is just an intermediate now. Now we can do that. Maybe do this again, since we need an awful lot of data for the bonus. Hey, yeah, I'm back. Hey, no stretch it. I'm back. Additional layer. Oh, by the way, I can turn off the... This, the message. Don't need that. Uh, you got on the call and when you looked over the stream, most on, yeah, I had to, uh, there was a, uh, a meeting. I had a meeting. Or to be uh, very precise, I had a, a job interview via MS Teams. And why the heck is MS Teams uh, mirroring my uh, OBS camera? Idiots. I had an appointment. Yeah. Yeah, and actually I'm waiting for a, a phone call. So any moment now, people probably gonna um, come back. Yeah, I have to say, uh, I was uh, extremely uh, frightened. Since my experience with... Um, Drop interviews was not good. Was really not good. So my heart was racing, but in the end, uh, I think I did okay. I have an idea. Uh, the good, the good thing was, the absolutely good thing was that the person uh, I spoke with was not HR. It was the lady I would work for in the department. You too, you had a bunch of interviews in the past few months. Anxiety levels have been through the roof, yeah. You cannot believe how uh, soothing it is to read that, Glenn. That I'm not the only one uh, that is... Even though I don't have to, lo I don't have to lose anything. I'm, I'm not losing, I would, let's say, win. Although I enjoy this year, despite the money uh, factor, yeah. Uh, still, my heart rate... I went to the toilet twice before and in the end it was okay. I hope I did I hope I did well. 
I wasn't too uh, flippy and too overexcited or too looking down and away. I tried to behave. And I, and I even wore a proper shirt. Even though you would uh, lose a bit of swimming, you would be happy because uh, it would be better for you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm. I'm torn between. Streaming only works if you actively do it. You have to, yeah, take care of your channel, even if it is microscopic and it looks and the outlook is dire. You have to see that is that is it's a big gamble, and yeah. Still, I, I would I enjoy this here. If it weren't for the money part, yeah. So, also the job is, I think, for three months or so. So maybe I'm back in November, December to streaming. Maybe they don't need me and they don't want me in the company uh, because I, that is uh, modern day slavery. I, a company, what's it called? Uh, there's an uh, intermediate company. There's a fantastic German word. It's called Arbeitnehmerüberlassung. Uh, labor leasing. Labor leasing, transfer of personnel, employee assignment. For your next Scrabble evening, use Arbeitnehmerüberlassung. <laughs> yeah. The ones don't have to work, you still could stream for 2-3 hours a few days a week. Yeah, I'm uh, actively, uh, yeah, I would have to see how things are at the job and then maybe I would do that or maybe I switch over to uh, uh, weekends. But usually um, because I have two or three um, streamers in my uh, follow list, I, yeah, streamers I follow and they, uh, yeah, found work again after the great plague and they stream once or twice a week for a couple of hours i don't think that is going anywhere either you do it just for funsies just for your fun but don't expect uh building a channel from that and i'm not the person to do half-assed things so we will see maybe i don't get the job uh there nothing is nothing is uh final now at the moment Maybe uh, the lady of the company calls him back and says, uh, yeah, they are not interested in you. Well, okay, back to streaming. And even then, as I said, maybe uh, after three months, uh, I think a uh, contract is or would be for three months, I think. There's a lot of streamers on your follow list uh, that only stream for three hours or so. Uh, some didn't even stream every day. Important is to have a consistent schedule. Yeah. Uh, Tony. Um, uh, no, Anthony, not Tony. Anthony, uh, your uh, Minecraft streamer, he streams uh, three, three, three days a week for a couple of hours. Would you say that consistency is more important than, uh, let's say, every day for eight hours? Even if it is just, let's say, three hours per stream, but it's consistent. Monday, Wednesday, Saturday. What is uh, your take? Bonus. There's our Vivan Busa. Uh, right, second. Yeah. Oh, for 10 years, additional 10. Uh, 100.
Uh, he does four or five days for three hours at a time. From what you have heard from streamers, uh, it is to be consistent. Is stimulus is to be consistent in when you stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of like a TV or TV show. That's also what I tried here. I tried to uh, stream in always the same window and try to announce what I will stream for how long I will stream. Of course, there always as. Uh, so sometimes a game won't work, just as we have uh, uh, experienced last week with Man Eater, the game refused to work. But other than that, I try to be uh, clear and consistent and um, yeah. What's the word? Um, predictable. Predictable. I try to be predictable. Yeah, maybe that is a possibility. We will see. Uh, people can count on when you'll be on. For instance, uh, you know uh, when I'm on, yeah, uh, you log on and then you stop. You stop around 1.30 uh, to your time, yeah. Anthony, uh, 7 to 10 your time. Uh, consistency or uh, a clear communication and following through with your schedule. Very important. So there is our Saturn Orbiter mid-course maneuver. I'll do this. Now we have to manage uh, heat. Also, what happened to my microphone? Is my microphone MR2 uh, silent now? Quiet. I clicked once on this stupid thing here. I have the stream schedule on Discord and your Twitch page helps a lot. Good. Yeah, um, sometimes uh, I have no idea if things work out as intended. I try to be clear uh, and I uh, Twitter that in... Yeah, I also Twitter the schedule. Yeah, I try to update that as often as possible. And uh, Sometimes uh, the Twitch schedule is out Sunday evening because I constantly think about mm, maybe this, maybe that. Yeah, yeah, I can't decide and then... Okay, come on, it's Sunday. Now, please, do something. Alright, uh, for the bonus rewards we need 8 thrust, that means thrusting 2 times. We need 4 additional, that means 20 data, 8 comms and 2 nav. Only 2 times, huh? that is comfortable. Right, let's do that. Ah yeah, and again. Don't miss it. You have to. You don't have to go uh, crazy with the heating. Just needed to keep it in one. And I'm also uh, oogling the whole time. <laughs> don't tell anyone. But I'm in a training meeting. You're an optional attender. But you're listening to both you and All right. <laughs> what? Okay, so uh, where am I here? We can burn some of you. Oh, perfect. We got three into eight. It's more than doubling. It's perfect. And here would also make another four data, which is good. Let's do this. We were on a solid one hour call before this one, uh, <laughs> so I need some time off. So you're listening uh, to my stream to regain mana. Increase mana regen. Whoops, that's a lot. Uh, what was it? I need 20. 20, 20 data. So okay, we have to uh, do some data farming. Next turn. Oh, 
Oh, there's the call. One moment, please. All right, good news. I got the gig. <sighs> Not sure if I should uh, celebrate or cry. Where am I? So we um we have eight eight commands left. So I have to do this two times. I need do not need all that. Uh, for the thrust, yeah. And I need still some. No, not you. You. Is that enough? No. Oh. Sixteen. Dang it. Uh, all right. Then give me that. 
Give me that. And this again, maybe? Yeah. Okay, and the next turn, it's thrusting two times. <laughs> I guess your reputation as a world class stream impressed them, though. Yeah. They uh, noticed uh, that the. Uh, yeah. The video call was looked pretty uh, good. They immediately noticed. Wow, that looks good. <laughs> Come on. Streamer, I know my shit. What do you expect? If there is streamer written in the CV, that's no joke. <laughs> the only thing I can do, pointing a camera, camera at myself. Pointing a camera at the muggin. Yeah, uh, to be honest, uh, yeah, you wish you could get off of that quick. Uh, uh, the work is not that overwhelming, so, yeah. I technically, or no, not technically, very practically, I walk into this job uh, almost blind. I have no idea what to expect or what I will experience there. Sounds uh, very good on paper. Yeah, it's flexi time. You can, uh, you have to be in office 40% of the time. You can uh, do your uh, home office whenever you want, how long you want, da da da. da. Yeah, that sounds all very good. Still, pay. Uh, do uh, uh, over, over, uh, what's it called? Over hours? Extra hours? Uh, what's with the extra hours? Are there extra hours? All the mouse print that we or I have to find out once I'm there. So I'm. I know that is wrong. I should, for once, I should. Uh, if there's a reason to celebrate, goddammit, celebrate. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not that kind of person. I tend to. Uh, hmm. I'm always skeptical and see all the negative, uh, possible negative aspects. So, we have one mission slot. Ta-da! Um, uh, where does that look? That is on the way. By the way, uh, mil milestone? Do we have a milestone? Modular Space Station 3. Yeah, look at that. The USA are first already. Uh, two years ago. Okay, then I shall build the Zvezda. Wow! Excuse me? 4,500. 24 tons. Do I have a rocket? That, uh, I think that is the ceiling of the Vivan. Where is it? Where is my Vivan? Yeah. Capacity 26 and the Ariane 5 is... 32. Okay, I have a rocket. Powerful enough. Then do this. Uh, build me an outrageously expensive module. It's like payload. Yeah, I don't have the money for that. I have to wait. China completed Neptune flyby in second. NASA is launching Saturn Orbiter next month. Build me that payload and we are broke. Here is our weather satellite. That is a money mission. On training. But if I remember correctly, this is a only 70% reliability payload. So that's not too good. Continue. So first of all, we need 20 nav. Everything else is just intermediate, and we lose to... <laughs> you actually triple-tasking, you're also running code scans. 
<laughs> Efficiency. <laughs> so we lose two drift every turn and we have to keep it between minus one and one. Okay. Oh, there are lots of commands. Well, that's not too good. Uh, let's start off here. That is also tripling. That is doubling. That's only two output, that is not good. Right, let's do this. Yeah, I think I have to uh, force me into that here, yeah, into a flyover course adjustment to acquire all the needed nav. Oh yeah, that is going to be tricky. Additional nav. Look at that, yeah, 13. I think I will accept additional nav. I like that. Last turn. Are you actively joking? Oh, okay. Hey, Catalyst. Hello. It was actually good. Uh, I think they want me. Next week, Monday, I go to the company that, uh, yeah, to the um, labor lease company. But do we want them? Uh, I'm not sure if I do want them. To be honest, I have no idea if I want all that. I guess so, but. Uh. Yeah, you can always good if it doesn't work out, yeah. And it, I know it sounds ridiculous and kind of, um, yeah, not really mature. But I now have a sort of backup plan. Always come back. I can always come back to streaming. Streaming helped me a lot emotionally, mentally, uh, when I couldn't find any job or just uh, stupid job jobs like yeah, a delivery driver for... Uh, beverage crates or uh, sitting uh, at the yeah being the cashier in the grocery store that what which was mind numbing and borderline torture now i have a backup plan i can stream if you do not stream you are not going anywhere with, you, with your channel so i always can do that even if, if it means uh, no money and yeah and in the meantime, I have some money. I hope the money, uh, the, the damages I get at the end of the month are enough to uh, keep me pushing through. Yeah, you're right, Vent. I uh, missed, sort of missed the bonus here. Yeah, I'm also surprised. I thought maybe they... Uh, what I usually think is if someone talks with me who I do not know or uh, if someone does not know me, uh, maybe they think, man, what a weirdo. What is he up to? Oh, it's uh, two turns. It's only eight commands. Oh, that is crazy. Uh, by the way, uh, Catalyst, yesterday I read something on The Guardian. Was it? 
No, not culture. Where is the science? Science, yeah. Um. Uh, whoops. Heck happened here? <laughs> what is that? Here we go. Uh, Catalyst, are you involved or... Or Crowther, professor of astrophysics at the university? Uh, I think it was University of Leicester. Oh, uh, is it? You know Paul... Uh, Crowther, or Crowther. Hey, Kabel. Or uh, Toma Schenar from the Institute of Physics and Astron Astronomy. Do you have something to do with that? <laughs> First dormant black hole found outside the Milky Way. An artist's impression. Very important. That is not a photo. Oh, is it? University of... Uh... Sheffield. University of Sheffield. You were listening to a YouTube video about a game called uh, Father's Frontier. I... wait a moment. I think I know the game. I'm not sure. Let me have a look. We are fast, yeah. See, if I had the money, if I would money uh, make money with uh, Twitch, I would buy a... Um, what is it called? Vive? A better green screen, and then I would try VR games. And so that you could uh, see me uh, jumping around uh, all here. Yeah, that stuff I uh, I plan. No, you look at you look the other way. We point our satellites at Earth. <laughs> it's a complete uh, complete diff different direction, the other way. <laughs> you did your undergrad degree in astrophysics, but it was a long time ago. Okay, yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, I know that you are the uh, satellite guy, but yeah, maybe. I constantly think about uh, you if I see uh, something. Uh, oh, Britain is or England is doing something in space. Oh, is that Catalyst? Catalyst, are you involved? Have you found uh, a dorm black hole? <laughs> no, other way around. Hey, don't look at me when I'm naked in my garden. Electric eye in the sky. Um, far west frontier. Uh, comes out next month. Oh wait, Create Entertainment. That rings a bell. Grim Dawn! Yes, that's the people of Grim Dawn. Like the art. Or already li like the art. Looks uh, lovely. Oh, that looks good. See, in my opinion, many game, many uh, city or colony builder games that are set in some fictional past look appalling. There is this game called Ostriff. Uh, I think it's from a company uh, from the uh, east, somewhere in the east. That game is not bad, but man, it looks appalling. Oh, that looks super chill. I like that. <laughs> the obligatory fighting the bear. <laughs> Our resolution is 10.5 kilometers. <laughs> What's going on down here? See the people running? <laughs> that looks amazing. <laughs> I 
<laughs> oh, I love stuff like this. I think that is hilarious. <laughs> Look at him running. So happy. Vigorous jog. <laughs> yeah, I did the motion capture. Ah, I would love to do motion capture for games. Just to act it out. Silly. That looks actually cool, I have to say. Yeah. I would be interested. Although I already have a have a game I'm looking forward to uh, play again. Um, no, not. What am I doing? This one here. That is an amazing game. It's from France, and the 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 art style is also hilarious, and it's also super chill. It has some fantastic mechanics already, although it is still an early access title and a lot of stuff is missing. Or well, there's not that much content. There is content, but... All oh, the people look super cute. Yeah, gridless, very important. See, you can build monuments, uh, in this uh, case a church. And you have these, uh, let's call it the snapping points, and you can add other parts to the building. So you can design your own, um, your own manor, your own church. Usually I go uh, crazy with my churches. Yeah, Father's Frontier, that looks amazing. Look at the sheepies! Woo! That's an amazing game. That's really cool. Yeah, I want to wait until there is more content. Next version is 1.8, and I think 1.9 is on the horizon. And I would wait for version 2 until there is more stuff in it and functional, and yeah. That's a super cool game. Yeah, and that also looks very interesting. And you meant uh, Manor Lords. That is a game I follow for a long time. Manor Lords, yeah. That also looks crazy good. I hope that I think it's one dude or just a cap couple of uh, people. I hope they can make it happen. In this video, I'd like to introduce... Look at the graphics. That looks so good. introduce you to some of the core mechanics of the game, including regional development, trade, and military recruitment. We need more workers here. The map in Manor Lords is divided into regions. Each region has its own resources, as well as a development tree. When you upgrade the residential buildings in the region, you get development points, which you can spend to unlock new development branches. This means that different regions may specialize in different things. It's small things like this, this feature here. That you can declare a field around, um, let's say, natural borders like this road here. That is so amazing. That different regions may specialize in different things. Some may be more optimized. You, uh, you would like to have a city builder in the theme of the Britannia. Some for mining. Isn't that close? I mean, that looks pretty much central Europe. Like shoes or clothing. 
Come on, that could be uh, England, Germany or France in the 1300s. Depending on the optimization of your production chains, the price of the goods will change, affecting the market attractiveness. Free merchants will travel more frequently to towns that have rare and more affordable goods. The natural drawing out yeah, is really cool. These merchants are the only way to get wealth. I'm really into, uh, let's say, organic building or uh, organic uh, city building. Lord's treasury, however, is split from the region. But it is rarely done well. Lady, you must tax your towns and Foundation is uh, an example. That is, that is done well. That looks promising. For example, the tithe goes straight to the church, but in return... Look, even the church building uh, looks accurate. That is very accurate. And the church gives you influence. Now oh, I complete with uh, four buttresses. I like it. Look at that, the tower started out uh, Romanic. Uh, the nave is early Gothic, early French, and the abscess is and it looks still Roman. So often, the king gives out valuable rewards to the most. You've given a book in today. The university supercomputer had to undergo an emergency shutdown after the cooling system failed in today's heat and it started melting. <gasps> what? Uh, I hope no damage was done. I mean, I can understand why the cooling system said, F it, I'm out. <laughs> Not today. Influential lords on the map, including new territories. You can compliment or insult other lords via the diplomacy system to affect their influence. Oh, this game looks super juicy. Feedback. It is now divided into three unit categories. First type of recruits are the peasant militia. You can call to arms the peasants from your villages. They grab whatever improvised weapons they have and join the fight. This will hit your economy and you'll need at least a couple of villages to form an army. If you want better militia... <laughs> Look at them. Direct tag band. <laughs> Pitchforks. Usually the fact that you've resigned and you're seeing Artinotes is a good excuse. Today, you have a better one, yeah. The second type of recruits are mercenaries. They cost silver and a lot of it. The last type is Lord's Retinue. This is a limited, heavily armored unit that you can customize to your liking. Oh, heck yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Come on, this game looks amazing. That game looks already amazing. That looks so promising. Thank you for joining in for this short preview of Manor Lord's gameplay systems. If you're interested in discussing the game, be sure to visit Manor Lord's Discord and subreddit. See you all in the next video. You just make about any excuse to avoid writing his research paper. <laughs> yeah, research is, is cool. Doing research work is oh, immensely exhausting from that tiny bit I have done. Oh, it takes way too long. Yeah, so this game also, uh, I'm following that for quite some time now. I hope. Uh, this game will see uh, the day of light. Yeah. It looks super amazing. Not just visually, but the ideas and how it is executed. It's amazing. So, back to uh, the space program. It's 39 degrees in your flat. Yeah, here it is also uh, 36. Let me look. Thirty-seven. It's about thirty-seven. 
And in here it's even worse because no wind. Okay, uh, before I continue, I have to run to the bathroom. I also don't have air. Nobody has aircon here. The aircon is super uh, rare in Germany. Shops have it, but at home, almost no one. It's way too expensive. Um, folks, excuse me for a moment. I run to the bathroom. All right, I'm back. So, also found some ah highs. You shouldn't complain about uh, about the heat. You are in the business of trying to make people aware of climate change. Today's weather is doing a better job than you can hope to. <laughs> uh. Bonjour. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm. Mm. I'm going to hide behind the eyes. So we have to find 12 and 5 in 8 commands and don't touch the drift. You know what, effort, go for the objective and then it's okay. Hmm. Hmm. Sweet failure.
What? I managed the objective except for the drift. <laughs> I'm going to use what? <laughs> what have I done? Too bad. Okay. It's not going to work out. Crap. I'm recharged then. Normal objective. Will be good enough. Okay, please resist. That's why you not go to space with shoddy equipment. Yeah, 30% is unacceptable. 30% failure chance or 70% reliability of your payload. That is... Oh, look at that. China will fly around Uranus in 22 months. Alright, Catalyst. Till later, man. Nine thousand signs. That is going to be a super expensive. Let's do this. Yeah, I knew it. That's look at that. Do it. <laughs> Say hello for me for the building meeting. Yeah. <laughs> Enter the meeting. Also, hello from Cabo Dusak in Quebec. Also, uh, some streamer dude in the west of Germany. Everyone looks confused. What? Are you okay? James, are you okay? New request mission on Earth. Hmm, nothing too exciting. Optimization available. You engineers have identifi identified a way to optimize a key component of this Vetstar payload for your upcoming Modular Space Station uh, Modular Space Station 3 mission. They estimate an increase of 10% payload reliability, which is currently at 70. Do it. Buy it. A bold plan. Your scientist team has proposed a comet hunting mission that will build on the flybys of previous. <clears throat> missions by orbiting and landing on it. You've accepted this and set the target as Comet uh, 67P Churyumov-Gerasimenko. Churyumov-Gerasimenko. This choice will also uh, allow your mission time to intercept the comet before it reaches Perhelion and then accompanying it as it passes through this critical phase in its life cycle. The orbiting Rosetta spacecraft will be able to, to sample the dust and gases on the comet giving off uh, to form its trails, while the Philolander examines the surface up close. Okay. Do it. So, do we need another research for that mission? No, it's the Rosetta payload. There it is. So, uh, mass prep exploration. Do this. Uh, by the way, what is the reward? Payload mastery. If we research all the stuff here, we get payload mastery. Yeah, okay, that is. Nobody cares. When we're done with that, the game's over. So, that comes too late. So, what can we do here? Uh, launch reliability. Even more. 
Yeah, that is actually needed since all the rockets here are not that reliable anymore. Look at that, 50%. 60. Yeah, that is not good. Ariana 6, 70. Uh, and it will level out at 85. Alright. Yeah, 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 yeah. BJ review, yeah, there's nothing to report. Contractor effects decreased by 50. That's okay. That's infrared observatory. Build time shuffle. Nobody cares. So, uh, the modular space station. That is going to be a big rocket. You can use the Vivan. And our recycled booster. Perfect. So, it's rather cheap. Uh, upgrade. We need that. No, go without, I think. Yeah, let's go without. Without extra contractor. And I think that's it. Okay, uh, 1300, that is actually uh, manageable. I like that. Do it. Build. And the infrared observatory. Ah, you survive them. Do we have a booster? Yeah. Upgrade parts, uh, make it cheaper. Composite casing. Uh, did you know that SpaceX's reusable boosters are in fact more expensive than traditional uh, one-use one? Really? I find it hard to believe. I mean... Uh, it's not impossible, but I thought the whole reason for the reusable thing was that it is uh, cheaper this way, that you do not have to build it again and again and again, you just have to refuel them, just. Or will they become um, more economical the longer we use them, we as a species? Yeah, that is how it was sold, but... They still have to uh, prove it. Okay. I didn't know that. Toss. Oros. Okay, confirm. Built for a thousand. Well. Also super cheap. I'm happy. Promise that you need extra fuel to make it go down. Yeah, you need. Yes, you need fuel to uh, uh, stop it. We need some braking. Pluto flyby. Is it? I can't believe it. Are we here? No. It is not. Mid course maneuver. Yeah. Six years. Six and a half years to go. So here we are. Um, heat will be reduced to zero at the start of the next turn. Okay. So we have to keep above one. Uh, above zero. And after that you have to check if everything is okay before reusing it and that takes time and costs money, yeah. Also, thrust. We have to create six thrusts. So ideally we thrust two times means four. That means we need 22 and two nav. Okay. We have six turns and four commands. Don't need that hard. We only can start here. Uh, let's go here. This will unlock nothing. This will unlock an awful lot. Where can I make data? Here. Uh, 
I have to make data. Data is super important. Without data, nothing. You know what? Do that for some extra uh, nav. But technology is a very nice thing and very interesting. Yeah, it is indeed. Yeah, too bad that it is actually, uh, as you say, not really uh, more economical than uh, building a new one every time. If you, could, uh, if you could just use it like a plan, it would cost less. I mean, uh, let it crash and build the same thing again and again. So look for a blueprint or a... Um, uh, a plane. Ah. Yeah, a space shuttle then. Yeah, like a space shuttle. Yeah, yeah maybe a shuttle concept idea will come back. Who knows? So what was it? I have to do this two times, so I need 22 and 2. Yeah, so I think I can make it to the bonus reward. Extra data, nice. Okay, how about... This. Where can I make? Oh, here. Yeah. Okay, maybe I have to buy this. The Doppler tracking. Buy and uh, I mean, pay some energy car for the resources here. And only that. And that. So I have 18, 25, the 2 for the navigation. Heat looks good. So next turn we can thrust two times and we are done. And even again one turn early. I can't believe it. Bonus reward. There we are. Fantastic. So, we have no mission slots. New joint mission available on Uranus. There's Uranus. We could study the rings around Uranus uh, together with uh, the Americans. And we would get money for that. So somebody would pay us to study the rings around Uranus. Yeah, about eight, eight years, so that is not really feasible or... No. Yeah, all the parts we don't have suggested, I know. Also, no mission slot. Whirlpool Galaxy draws in public a series of stunning images captured by your space telescope has uh, have featured in a prominent science publication. An image of the Whirlpool Galaxy, in which the latter is extending one of its spiral arms around a neighboring galaxy, proved to be especially popular with the public. 200 support. 
new joint mission on Earth. The Americans, who would gain this part, specialized component. Oh yes, you can you can unlock uh, parts to increase uh, reputation. Ooh, I remember. Yeah, that was something. So that completes in one month. That also completes in one month. Perfect. Next month, there is stuff going on. Uh, payload mission training bonus increased. Launch reliability. I don't care, man. Horus, payload reliability up, and mission training down. So, the modular space station, we need crew. And we could hire some better professional monkeys. Yeah, hire this uh, tier 3. person. Now that is going to be... Your Rosalind de Pichelmeier. Confirm. Uh, training. I think that looks all fine and dandy. Let's train for science. We need all the science. I have to research the rockets. Yeah, in November. Confirm. Go to solar. Check. New recast mission available on Venus. Not bad, but also not overwhelming. Infrared observatory. Oh, I missed to do that. Oh, that looks fantastic. Launch date. November. Next phase of the ground tour. Uranus flyby. We're going to fly by Uranus. Well, we have 36 commands, 6 turns, 6 commands. We lose 2 heat every turn and we just have to give it above 0. Okay. Oh, we need heat. Oops, wrong. Oh, look at that. We have to start here. Look at that, six and a half, but we need 45 data and comms. That's a lot. Oh, that is interesting. You have to actively manage. your heat. You have to lower it, but you cannot raise it indefinitely.
have to take care of the data. Look at that, 45 data. So far no critical successes. That's a 99% drone uh, payload. It's a lot. So, are we out of power? Whoops. There's really no smart way to make data except here. You know, all the other stuff that is basically worthless, that is not good. And you can go here and here. I still would have to pay for this. So we have 12 commands left, two turns. In these two turns we have to find nine comms, four data and still six nav. And we have to manage heat. Oh, tricky. So I have enough nav, more than enough comms, we could burn some comms, problem is we need heat for that, we need heat. So uh, one data compression, oh dang it, uh, data compression, stabilization and adjustment. That's more than enough. So next turn I could do this. I could spend three nav, would gain four, that would be enough. Two, not enough, but I would create um, heat. Amazing. Ah, let's do this. I'm confident we can, can achieve the bonus rewards. So, this, and we need data, here, and we charge, bonus reward, woo, there we are. Uranus flyby. Um, 
Ja, dat hebben we een ander event. Als ik me of ik wil de data van de Grand Tour mission, of ik wil wachten. We will wait. There it is. Interplanetary bounty. See? Grant us to now thousand. Delay. Infrared observatory. So let's launch a modular space station part three into orbit. Perfect. That looks amazing. Fast forward. Fast forward. Continue. Fantastic. Stupid game. Okay, uh, bonus award, 30 and 15. Ah, uh, the commands look okay. Ah, uh, this one is tricky here. Getting, oh, and we have to uh, drift. Drift will be reduced to zero at the start of the next turn. Ah, and we have to acquire, we have to must equal three. Aha. Watch out. So we have three people. That is a pretty good command. Maybe we do that and this here. And that is tripling. And that is technically three into eight. Do it. And that's not a good. Um, not accept this one. You shall accept, accept since uh, comms are only an intermediary resource. Looks good. Yeah, that will be uh, reduced. So, by the way, every command going to the right to acquire the drift requires no manpower here. So we can do this three times. Three times. So we need three energy in the last turn to make a to make it to the drift. And by the way, I need five more data, three more. I can do this next turn and we are done. Big success. Perfecto. Not accept. Flight path control, here we are. Bonus award. Bam. Done. Amazing. By the way, I can download Stray. Folks, I'm downloading Stray. And deploy module systems. Continue. Again, we have to uh, watch our drift. And again, the modifier is ephemeral. That means the drift is reduced to zero at the start of the next turn. And we have to make a drift of five. So, let's say high energy radiation scan two times. So that is four energy. Or five energy. Two and one is five, yeah. Or maybe we have excess uh, comms, then we can do that. All right, you're looking at 20 comms, 20 data, and five 
nav. So that is tripling. That's more than tripling. That is just not bad because uh, using your Yumi's is usually a good idea. That costs energy. A lot of stuff costs energy and that is a bit annoying. But let's go here and need that. That's super important. Let's see, we need 20. For that, you need extra resist, uh, extra energy. Quick success, nice. So we, get, we gain three, we use three, and we triple again. Maybe again. How about that? I think I like that. That is four away, two away, three away. That's good. That's pretty good. I'm confident. As long as I save 5 energy for the last turn. Hmm. Not enough. I could fire now, but we need 4 more. And the only thing I cannot... Or more. Here it is. Aha. Manual data collection, uh, location extrapolation, and two high, high energy radiation scans. There we go. Perfect. One turn early. We can resist that, please. We have to resist, or else we would lose the. Uh, Point of navigation we need. Oh no, I'm over it. Additional data, nice. Great success, there it is. Look at all that. Woo! Hey, did this second? Okay, we now have a mission shuttle available, but let's start our infrared observatory, which would yield a lot of science. Achieve Earth orbit and deploy space telescope systems, please. Continue. What could possibly go wrong? Starting a rocket in heavy rain. See? Nothing. <laughs> so, we have four commands for four turns. We lose drift and we have to keep it up. Okay. Ideally, we collect 25, uh, 15 of every resource. Okay. A lot of stuff costs energy. I wonder if this puzzle is adjusted for my high energy um, payload. I built the more expensive one that has more power. So that's basically a Binford 5000 uh, X-ray telescope. Uh, tripling, doubling. That's doubling, tripling. Let's go here and make the numbers bigger and bigger. Doubling, that is tripling. Do this.
Oh, look at that. We already have the data. Halfway there to... Uh, comments halfway through the data and lacking a lot of you here. Oh, I like the design or the model here of the payload. That looks mahusive. I like that. Big machinery in space. Oh, danger. So next turn, I would end up at minus four drift. Problem. We have to do stuff four times. And every time I would lose either data or nerf. Uh, I think that is okay. If I, I need 12 more, so I need two times this command. I can afford power wise and data wise. Two times. On two. And I have to do one extra command for um, yeah, going to the uh, right. I think I can make it. Extra data. Fantastic. So, I need this, one, two, and we need drift. And there we are, bonus reward. And I could sacrifice a lot of data actually, and we have some backup power uh, if something should go wrong. Even more data, amazing. Data mining. Data miner. Again, 15 of everything, and we lose two drift, and we have to keep it at zero. And there are only two commands. And they cost me nav. Exclusively nav. All of this. Or should I face it and just buy this right away? Oh, that's going to be tricky. Because we have to keep the drift on zero. We can lose two every turn. So now we are minus four, yeah. Tricky. So for that, I need that, and I don't know, this one here. See, at least we have the objective, that is good. We end up at minus three. Drift miscalculation. Uh, the command's output will be increased by one drift. Except. Ha! Amazing. That was a mistake in our favor. Or in failure in our favor. Perfecto. So, um, now I feel confident. Googling the bonus rewards. 15 of everything. So we need uh, 4, 4, and 6.
Oh, so close. Acquiring data is rather simple. But watch out. Uh, next turn, we will be again at minus two. That means I have to... Uh, do this two times. Then I would also create um, data. And then uh, we have two commands left, but we would have... We would have to do this, and we have no energy for that. But if we do this, all right? On two, three, four. Okay. I think that's it. Yes, the data. Additional nav, perfect. Additional nav, even better. Wow, the game behaves. There we go. Bonus reward. And we could actually afford to lose stuff. But not drift. No, we can afford. We can afford to lose uh, data. Air comes. Bad. There we go. Great success. That mission yields 9,000, I think 9,000 signs, so plus 50. Yeah, 12,000. More than 12,000. And we have a mission slot, two mission slots, in fact, available. So. We are done with all the Earth stuff. Uh, Grand Tour is underway. That is uh, largely irrelevant. Diplomacy. Traffic tracking, your mission. And gives us money, perfect. That is oh, amazing, that is a super cheap one. I go with a normal spot. Build it. Um, Oh, uh, can we do a mission with... Oh, every 12 months. Okay. Yeah, now I remember. Uh, the last time I played, there were joint mission proposals. But they would give you... Not bad. And they would give you parts that would increase the standing or the diplomatic reputation with a nation. Kind of sad, because Saturn Orbiter is underway in one and a half years. Saturn Ring Survey. Eight months. And that will give us money. And the Russians are next around Uranus. Yeah, I see that is not really... <laughs> Okay, we cannot do anything around the Gerasimenko. Showroom of Gerasimenko. Plan mission? No, here it is. Now yeah, let's start building the stuff. Uh, give me the increased cost, but not enough money. <laughs> it's like Pedro, yeah. We have to wait. World celebrates ISS. Worldwide media is dominated by stories heralding the completion of the International Space Station. A popular news website described the Orbital Station as a monument to the boundary pushing bravery of Numskill Space. 300. Port. Why go to a comet? A common question in the media is why are we going to a comet? Our science team involved in the feeder landing mission. Uh, your science team was able to explain. The comets are leftovers from when the solar system formed over 4.5 billion years ago. They are a time capsule that's been frozen in the outer reaches of the solar system. Other early remnants, like the asteroids, have been changed by the sun's warmth as they orbit much closer to it. This means that examining a comet is our best way to understand how Earth and other planets formed and give one answer to the age-old question, why are we here? 
you should prepare for a uh, pretty, 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 pretty boring answer. Or a very unsatisfying one. But if that is what keeps you going, then keep asking it. Mars prep. Mars exploration research complete. This technically ambitious mission involves sending our most advanced rover to explore Mars for evidence of past habitability and includes a revolutionary rotor craft. The rover will collect and cache samples of the Martian surface, which will be uh, retrieved by a second lander and returned to Earth via a specialized sand rocket. At the moment we have some good science income. Yeah, let's uh, research the Perseverance. And then I have to really have to start uh, researching rockets. A billionaire in space. A billionaire, Dipold Girard. Dipold Girard has made a public challenge to the space agencies. I've always wanted to go to space ever since I was until kid. Can anyone make that happen for my 50th birthday next year? Your PR department has been contacted by his aide and he promised huge publicity from this media empire as well as a handsome payment for whichever agency takes the job. Do you accept the challenge? Of course. Yeah, nothing has happened here. Oops, yeah, Earth. Space tourism. Is, is that the one? Is, is that the mission? I have no idea. Yeah, a microscopic Gemini capsule. And more crew. Built. I think we can use our ICBM. Yeah. Yeah, that is free. No, I think there is no cheaper alternative. To, uh, this combination, so I'll take it. Uh, upgrade part, payload reliability, place, and ah, we are paying only half. Ha <laughs> ha! Where is the no, not cheaper. This one, payload reliability. Yeah, crank it up. Confirm. Built for a thousand. Amazing. China's launching Grand Tour in 60 months. <laughs> you are pathetic. Look at my Grand Tour. I'm close to Neptune. Fake cheaty douche. Where's tourism? Uh, design sh shuttle. He wants to use a shuttle. Really? Was that in the mission? Why do I need a Gamini for a shuttle? Oh, no, I have to build this thing. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. The constitution, uh, the... Uh, no, that is going to be the, um... Whoops. Ridic Ridiculous. Ridiculum. Ah, the Ridiculum. <laughs> uh, ridiculous or Ridiculum. Ridiculum. Idiot. From the large launch pad. We just learned that HMS is for 
Her Majesty Ship, ja. His or Her Majesty's Ship. Ja. HMP is Her Majesty's Prison or Her Majesty's Pleasure. And I think HM M is Her Majesty's Mail. HMP? HM, ja. Yeah. Yeah, all the HM stuff is Her Majesty. HMS Her Majesty Ship, ja. It's 30 degrees, you're dying. Oh, come on. Grow a pair. It's 37 here. <laughs> and I'm sweating just sitting in front of a camera playing a game. And talking uh, irrelevant, silly stuff. Um, how do we land that? The uh, problem is, I do not have... That is a bit weird. That is super weird. Uh, the, the mission is not telling you that you have to use a space shuttle. That is not good. The game forces you to lo uh, to use a shuttle, which I don't want. Also, I build a capsule. Yeah, not a fan of that. Ridiculous. No, ridiculum. 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 Can we make it cheaper? No, oh, there is an impact for... I ah, know. Okay, no contractor. Build it. I hope the dude pays. If he not pays, then uh, invite him again and then he will have an accident. Launch. Excellent. Yeah, November. Bam. Confirm. Do it. Saturn Ring Survey. Ah, accidents happen so often and so unforeseen, yeah. So, what about the rings of Uranus? Oh, wait, that was... What was it? Saturn ring. Uh, continue mission. <laughs> Poor assassin word. Repairs the concrete in some uh, buckets. So, we lose two heat every turn. We have to keep it below zero. Wow, 18, 20 and 16. That's a lot. But I know this uh, layout. Been there, done that. Send it without a ship, yeah. An EVA right before re entry. Yeah, I'm burning through a lot of energy here doing this command. But I need it, or else I'm not going to get to the resources. Two extra, nice. Two extra data from this big success. That's perfect.
that is... Okay, we have the objective. That is all we want. Not good. I accept. I accept the failure. Yeah, we can afford. Oh wait, I have to do one of the... What? So we have four, to, uh, four commands left. I have to recharge if I want to do that. Then I lose uh, one, that means I need four data. Then I would have 18, I could afford to do that. Uh, I think I can do it. One, two, one, two. Maybe there's a critical success. No, too bad. There is bonus. And heat won't be computed. Catching. Ah, oh, that money was dearly needed. So, can I... In four months, okay. So, is there another money mission, maybe? No. Maybe around here. No. Mercury? No. Kind of functioning in this heat, yeah. Me too, uh, I'm also... Um, I won't complain, but there is the J uh, Japan part. Uno broadcast. Uh, Muna, Lunar Moon Landing again. Oh, what? Oh, and here's the stupid part I want for Japan. That's all. Oh, Jesus. Do it. Payload reliability. Uh, build me the better one. Oh, the thing is, oh, I absolutely hate this. Uh, that is uh, 15,000 uh, tasks. That's why I don't like to go to the moon. You have to do this, do that, do that, and do that. Oh, jeez, that's so annoying. I think I will uh, uh, fast forward all that. So, perseverance. So, I now have to research the vehicles. There is no way around it. Yeah, research the Ariana 6, please. Request mission on Earth. Habitat module. Mm, some signs. But no mission slot. Ariana 6, research complete. Here we go. That's a diplomatic mission. Pass forward, do it. Almost positive. <laughs> oh my god, you have to go shopping. <laughs> no! So, 18 and 18, and we gain or lose about one drift. Okay, that is acceptable, that is. 13 and 18. Can you do that? And data is an intermediate, but a valuable one. Two turns remaining. 
Excuse me? Uh, is there one of the missions again you possibly cannot make? Yeah, that is impossible. Jesus. The heck? Yeah, give me that. Look at the success rates. The game is active. Look at that! It's trying to sabotage me. chance that you can make the bonus reward. That is not possible. What is it with some of the missions? I wonder, uh, maybe this is on purpose, maybe it is not broken, maybe the game tries to uh, yeah, stop you from being too successful. I mean, about 90% of the puzzles are solved with bonus rewards. So I have the objective, but one turn left, that's not possible. So I need this and three. Okay, maybe it is possible. Well, 25 is better than nothing. Done. There's a booster, a Vivon, some reward, and Japan is happy. Fantastic. New Space Speed article, the Ariane 6. Yeah. Ariane 6 is a powerful launch vehicle designed to carry a heavy payload into Earth orbit and beyond. It's an evolution of the earlier Ariane 5 and it is, and is of similar configuration. Two liquid fueled core stages and either two or four solid fueled supplementary boosters, depending on the payload requirement. Compared to Ariane 5, Ariane 6 will be significantly cheaper and faster to manufacture, while retaining the available multiple payload capability. Part of this uh, reduction will be achieved by assembling the rocket horizontally, rather than uh, vertically, as with its predecessors. Horizontally. Yeah, which significantly reduces the delicacy and complexity of the process. It, uh, the Russians, also um, I th the Soviets, I think, uh, they assemble their rockets uh, horizontally, at least some of them, which significantly reduces the delicacy and complexity of the process. It will also be one of the first rockets to use a laser ignition system for its rocket engines, which is both more flexible and reliable than other older systems that ignited fuel using electrical sparks. <laughs> really, electrical sparks. Like... Uh, Spark plug. <laughs> Ariane 6 is a proposed success of the Ariane 5, Ariane 5 uh, planned by ESA to make its maiden flight in 21. Yeah, that hasn't happened. Sticking close to the design of Ariane 5, its main design goal is to reduce cost per launch to remain comp competitive in the commercial space launch market. Uh, let's Google where is the Ariane 6. Probably delayed. We're, uh, just everyone in uh, everything in space is delayed. 
is a European uh, carrier rocket from the Ariane series uh, for a capacity f 5 to 11.5 tons for a uh, geostationary orbit or ge geotransfer orbit. Uh, we, uh, yeah, maiden flight was planned for 2020, uh, delayed until They are actively building that thing. Okay, so that is not a real joke. Oh, you want some stars? Yeah. Try your luck. But also, watch out. As a bump. <laughs> okay, indeed, the Ariane 6 is a thing. Maybe next year. Fantastic. The future here in my stream. Now, today, for you. So, research. Uh, we need the Ariana Upper. We have a mission slot. So, okay, what can what what else can we do? You also can uh, use the. Um, uh, the app extension below the stream. There is a uh, small gamepad. Still, it comes with a delay. Also, you... How about Fila landing? Yeah, let, let's plan the Fila landing and... Go for a super expensive. Yeah, please build. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. The wrong water. Your mission team is in use again with their latest findings. According to the main solar system, to the main solar system information theories, uh, Earth has far more water than it should have, and the most widely accepted source of this extra water is comets because they are largely made of ice. However, the latest isotope uh, ratio analysis from Comet uh, 67P shows that this type of comet cannot have been responsible, and so the question remains open: Where did Earth's water come from? Science reward and less launch reliability. Where <laughs> it comes from, aliens. Of course, there's only one. Aliens is the universal explanation for everything we cannot understand. Before it was God, now it is aliens. You know what? Let's use the Ariana 6. Booster. Ariana 6. And we need additional lift. Okay, then this is an Ariana 62. Uh, that is going to be the uh, Helios. And, oh, payload reliability. Yeah, we have to increase payload reliability. That is going to be a super expensive rocket. But what are you going to do? Uh, payload reliability increased by 13% to 63. That is good. That is the launch reliability. No, 
Uh, go here. Yeah. Confirm. And we have to research vehicle parts. Yeah, on the way. On the way. Watching this uh, makes you want to play Kirby Space again. Yeah, it's the same here. I also. Ah, oh man, maybe I should play Kirby Space Program again. But then I remember I'm not good at it. And, yeah. and it's kind of frustrating to uh, start a rocket 11,000 times because the controls are super janky. Payload reliability. Jesus. So not good. Launch reliability. Yeah, uh, Okay, new train for payload reliability. Super important. Yeah. Yeah. Confirm. Go. Alright, the main point is I have a bunch of mods installed and sometimes they will just uh, take forever. Yeah. Yeah. That is true. Also, uh, added, uh, when I played it, I added uh, some mods that take care of the widgets since the game looked pretty poor. Um, and I had MacJab, but I couldn't, for some re weird reason, I couldn't use MacJab. I was too stupid to get MacJab running. So that you can automate your uh, ascent and all this stuff. TV stations battle for broadcast. TV stations across the world are competing for exclusive rights to the live broadcast planned by a lunar broadcast mission. Granting rights to the highest bidder would uh, net your agency 400, a whopping 400. Though your PR team have pointed out that freely granting the rights to all stations would result in the largest worldwide audience. Free rights for all. You just gave up on trying to use MacJab and removed it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, for MacJab, first of all, you have to, uh, if you play career, career mode or whatever it's called, you have to research. Uh, a particular node so that you get the MacJab part, then you have to use that and then you can use the features, which is kind of a good idea. I like the idea, but it's too far into the tree. I have no intention of uh, doing uh, this constantly by when ascending. New request mission on Mars. Uh, research complete for Ariane 6. Perfect. Now we need the... Oh, we have to uh, research another thing. Oh, that costs all 8,000. Uh, give me the SLS block one. Small one. Yeah. Saturn Orbiter. No, they are space mission. Uh, space tourism. Effort. Go. And now the stuff blows up. Almost positive. It's ridiculous. Uh, 12, 17, 12. And drift. No modifier. Cool. You want burgers? And go and some burgers. Two into five. One into three. Wow. That is basically the only way to acquire a sufficient amount of data. And here we burn it. Fantastic. Ah, these commands look all horrible. Look at this. And this to a certain degree. And then we would have 
let's say, a good start. Fantastic. Crew innovation. A member of the crew came up with a more efficient method of uh, completing the task. This command will generate an additional one navigation. All right, Ilvin. Try not to melt. Walk slowly. Calm breathing. Remember, it's all not that bad. Uh, maybe like so. Looks good. Oh, look at the resources. Now I'm getting confident maybe we can make it to the bonus reward. <laughs> I'm not paying to find improvement. I'm paying you to pilot the space stuff. <laughs> Stop that. Focus. <laughs> So here would be the stuff. Now, how about this? And maybe this. Oh, inching closer and closer to the bonus. Oh, and we have still two turns left. Now I'm confident, almost certain that we will make it to the bonus reward. Additional uh, uh, comms. Great, amazing. I'm a genius. I know all the things. Great crew. Perfect. Okay, you know what? What's that? Yeah, just buy all the stuff. There we go. Form control re entry. Sixteen and twenty three. And we gain between one and three heat. Max four. Oh, thank God we have these stupid inputs. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that is not good. The only way to make meaningful navigation is here flat over course adjustment, which costs us energy. And we need 23. I mean, if we have 11,000 turns, then yes, but not in the time we have here. Additional math. Okay, that, that was actually worth it to uh, burn all the energy on uh, the flow of course adjustment. Effects, good. No failures. Now I have to take care of the. What? We have extra data. Hey, there we are. Bonus reward. We made it. And we charge. Done. Fantastic. I think I can accept. Yeah, we have, we have more than enough uh, comms. Good. Accept. And. Yeah.
Also, this is super weird. Uh, we saw the Gemini capsule in front of us. Not the space shuttle. Now the space shuttle is coming back. And I have no space shuttle uh, landing strip. There's no runway. Okay, so we land at some drug lords private landing uh, uh, runway. Achievement unlocked future tourism. Successfully complete the space tourism request mission. Oh look, some signs. Oh, that's actually not bad. We need that signs. Some uh, support, public support. And now the dude pay us. Pay me. Space tourism. Spacepedia entry. Uh, general. Space tourism. Uh, summary, a space tourist is anyone who pays to travel to space rather than uh, doing it as a job. Uh, this is usually just for the experience of being in space, though some have also taken small experiments to perform whilst in microgravity. The first space tourist was American entrepreneur Dennis Tito, who paid 20 million to stay on the ISS for just over a week in 2001. Really? Uh, seven others followed in his footsteps between 2002 and 2009, when the professional astronaut crew aboard the ISS doubled. At that point, there was no longer uh, there was no longer any room for visitors, and so space tourism paused for over a decade. During this lull, uh, several bio during this lull, several billionaires formed commercial spaceflight companies with the aim to serve the space tourist industry. The first customer flew in 21, marking the start of a new phase of space tourism. Instead of using existing uh, single-use vehicles to launch space tourists through the ISS, they have uh, built reusable vehicles that uh, will orbit on their own. Broadly speaking, there are three types of space tourism, suborbital, orbital and beyond. Uh, the difference is how far they uh, take the space tourists and how long they spend in space. Virgin Galactic and Blue Origin. Virgin Galactic is... What's the name? Branson? And Blue Origin is a uh, bald headed internet superstore man. Alright, Blue Origin is the Jeff. Are the leading companies in the field of suborbital sub -orbital space tourism, both making their first customer. taking their first customer up in 21. The time spent weightless on these flights was only a few minutes, however, this type of space tourism is important, and important to pave the way for future orbital travel and beyond. Really? Really? I mean, a couple of minutes in suborbital flight uh, for a hilarious amount of money is not taking anyone anywhere. Literally. I can't see why this is helping. Yeah. The space tourists who flew between 2001 and 9 each spent one or two weeks at the ISS. Uh, this form of orbital space tourism is set to return in 21, with another uh, Zoyos transporting two space tourists to the ISS the same year. We also see the law, yeah, and then uh, COVID happened, so that is no. There was no tourist at the ISS uh, last year. The same year, we'll uh, see the launch of a new form of orbital tourism when SpaceX Crew Dragon, uh, when a SpaceX Crew Dragon, SpaceX Crew Dragon, Crew Dragon, oh, wait, the Crew Dragon is this, uh, the capsule carries four space tourists to orbit for three days. This will be the first orbital trip that has not relied on the ISS. And the final type of space tourism is carrying customers beyond Earth orbit. So far, this is only aspirational. The most advanced of these plans is that of SpaceX, who have announced a trip around the moon using their Starship in 23. And we will see. Despite some minor environmental concerns, the general view of space tourism is that it has beneficial effects. The commercial competition for customers encourages innovation and efficiency in new designs, such as the reusable vehicle used by all the leading space tourism companies. These, in turn, reduce the cost of launches, which benefits the whole space industry. Credit, Nisa. Uh, yeah, that... Uh, we have to wait for that. That... We will see. Okay, active missions. Um, research parts, yeah. Saturn Orbiter. Saturn Orbit, here we are. That is a milestone mission. 
Oh, look at that. Look at the rings of Saturn. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, we have to manage heat and radiation. Cool, that's tricky. We are going to lose to heat and gain to radiation. Isn't radiation technically heat? Also. So, where do we start? How about here? And some radiation. Produce some heat. Uh, maybe do this again. And then we're done. All the heat we need. And radiation taken care of. Acquired some resources. Nice. How about this command? Uh, mission data downlink. Costs us 3 in, would use 2 radiation and produces 8 pumps. Do this. And then I have to focus on acquiring data. This is very important. So now I have all the data, all the comms, just just five nav. Fantastic. Once the world, one turn early. Amazing. That's a bonus reward. Yeah. Comfortable. Comfortable. First achieving Saturn orbit. Yes, and that is... 4,000 signs, or, or, yeah, in the end it will be 4,000 signs, amazing. And I'm researching the new rocket stuff hard, perfecto. So now we have two free mission slots. Is there a money mission? I want to know. Uh, Phobos photography, please. That's a no-brainer, do it. Uh, we need a Mariner 8. Uh, do this. Boom. Venus. Illusion weather report. I don't know. Oh, I can do. Uh, whoops, I forgot. Mass prep, mass exploration. Whoops. Wow, the rover. Look at the price. Jesus. Wow, for one more power, I... No, no, no. Okay, we go with a normal one. No, 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 that is... Yeah, build it. Oh. Heart attack. Capturing a Martian descent. Your PR team have proposed attaching several additional cameras to your Preservance rover and a sky crane that will lower to the surface of Mars. The cameras would be able to capture the dramatic descent and high resolution, increasing public engagement with the Mars prep. Mars exploration mission. Your engineers believe they can integrate the cameras without impeding the payload system. Costs us to uh, do it. Do it. Put me some cameras. New request mission available on Saturn. Uh, Saturnian small moons survey. I don't know. I have no mission slot and I'm broke. Dreams do come true. The world's uh, press is full of your successful launch and recovery of billionaire Dipol Girard on his 50th birthday flight to the edge of space. The, he, has, uh, he is overjoyed at the experience and says that he can wait, uh, can't wait to go again. He continued, we can all look forward to the day when dreamers like me not, uh, can only not travel to space but live and uh, work there. Of course. Uh, today it was just my birthday. The present uh, this marvelous technology gives to the rest of humanity is the ability to reach out and explore the universe. And it is the children with big dreams who will lead us there. Where's my money? Dude, you so you so you what? 
Where's my money? You said there would be money in it. Where is it? And researched. Perfect. Uh, Phobos photography. Oh, that is perfect. Too. That is a money mission. And we can go super cheap. Yeah, Athena. Vyvan. Uh, how about uh, give me this? Ah, oh, no, wait. Nah, let's. Yeah, uh, payload reliability, please. Accept upgrade. Uh, the resplendent, yeah, that's okay. Um, oh, bullet. The vehicle. Okay. Research. Next research. Wow, that is super expensive. Yeah, let's research the upper. Oh, wait, the booster. Block 2, yeah. Booster block 2. The uh, most expensive piece of kit we have. Okay, I could build a vehicle, but now I have no money. Huh. Supernova study proposal. A group of astronomer, uh, astronomers have made the target of opportunity. Proposal involving dedicated use of your space telescope launched in the infrared ob observatory mission. Uh, their project involves a uh, predicted uh, reappearance of a supernova, the light of which was previously seen being warped by a galaxy cluster and which lens models suggest may be observable again imminently. This project will require funding but has a chance of producing, uh, producing additional science. You know what? I do not have the money, but do it. Approve. Pause accepted. What could possibly go wrong? Maybe we get nothing from it. Launch reliability. And 25 science reward. That is amazing. Okay. The Fila lander. We can use a Wyvern. We can use a Wyvern. That's amazing. Upgrade. Uh, advanced absorption. Look at that. 90% payload reliability. I need that. The Emperor. That is a cool name for a rocket. The Emperor. By the way, couple, uh, you uh, requested your name in game. That you are going to um, to Cheryamov Gary Zemenko. Kabel Tusek. Is it? Kabel Tusek. There is it. Kabel Tusek. That is a very important mission. So I need 1400 and 2200. New Saturn ring discovered. During your Saturn ring survey mission, an image captured by the Voyager probe has revealed a previously unknown planetary ring existing outside the bigger main rings. Researchers have theorized that it was uh, created by a meteorite smashing into the small moons Janus and Epimetheus. Gain science. Nice. New request mission on Earth. Inflatable module and habitat module. Yeah, that is all. I need money. Game, give me money. Supernova fails to appear. A recently approved proposal to observe reappearance of a supernova using your space telescope has ended in a disappointment as it failed to appear as predicted. However, data obtained during the observations of a real rated galaxy cluster has ensured that no science has been lost. Okay. To that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What are you gonna do? Uh, BJ review and there's nothing going on. No. There's a uh, Perseverance rover. Phobos photography. Launch. Train for this lunch date next month do it confirm go to solar 
No money. Uh, we have to design a vehicle for this one. Can use a Vivan again. Which I will do. But we would need to build another Vivan booster. But uh, yeah, uh, uh, next month there will be there will be another uh, booster available. The Eco Manical. Need this. Confirm. Forbes Photography. Launch mission. The Resplendent. 2004, by the way. Continue, yeah. I'm confident the rocket won't blow up. Just one comes on first task mission. So we have to reach uh, transfer orbit. We have to burn two times. We need four data, two uh, comms, and ideally ten communications. And we have to take care of drift. We gain or lose fluctuating one. Oh, this makes no sense. I don't need data. But I need data. Data. Additional data. Fantastic. Okay, where can I make... Here. Yeah. Nav. I need nav. Uh, this is kind of dangerous. I think I have to just buy it. Or else we have a runaway effect here with the stupid drift. So, minus, <coughs> minus three. Zero. Good. So we can do this. Just buy me another one. I also need that. So we have more than enough navigation. We need two thruster burns, yes. Okay, we have more than enough. Perfect. One five. to adjust the walls. Yeah. Wait. Oh, that was uh, the wrong, wrong direction. Yeah. Like so. <laughs> I clicked the wrong one. Uh, yeah. to accept that. There we go. There's our Vyvan. Yay, extra money. Perfect. China has reached 50% mass, mass readiness. Wow, I'm at 56, by the way. I wasn't aware. So I'm... Front runner. 37 must be here. Huh? It is warm, but yeah. If you don't move, you can manage. <laughs> yeah, let's wait for the money for the lunar broadcast thingy here. Continue. Lunar broadcast built. 
You request mission available on Jupiter. UV and small moon survey. Eh. That's two years. Or six thousand signs. That's okay, but not. Uh, giant water plume seen on Enceladus. Your Galileo probe has witnessed dramatic plumes of water erupting from the surface of Enceladus, one of the moons of Saturn. A series of animated GIFs uh, based on the captured images created by your office have been widely shared on social media. Right. Filia landing here. The Kabel 2 sec. Very important. Very, very, very important. So we train for science and launch date here yeah. in January. Confirm mission. Go. Yeah, no money for that. SLS block two research complete. Next research. Mm. Booster SLS block one, give me that. Oh, you know what? Let's run through uh, the Ariana 5 supplementaries. I don't think I will ever use them, but since we're here, uh, mid course maneuver. Yeah, I really should do all the tasks, all the phases. Cause money. There is money in it. So continue. We have to manage radiation. That we gain between two and four. No. And we have to acquire thrust. We have to thrust two times for the bonus, and that means we need only ten nav for data and six comms. Six, ten, four, zero. What? Excuse me? I cannot kill off the the radiation entirely in the What is that? Oh man, what? I have to eat one. Yeah, look at that. Wow, that is hyper stupid. Yeah, actually I'm just managing now uh, the radiation. Is infuriating. And I need, oh, I need, only need, what was it? I only need ten, four, and six. Next turn, I have to do this two times. That is okay. But I also need data. I can just buy data. Perfect. If <laughs> it gets better, 30 views, then you put it with it. Yeah. <laughs> I 
Bonus Rewards. Build mass prep. Yeah, this one. Are we on five research? And next phase in the Grand Tour. So uh, let me research the. Our research is dying out. Let's go SLS booster block one. Okay, got two missions. Yeah. The Grand Tour. Here we are. Neptune flyby. Perfect. Pluto flyby in two years. And ten months. And nobody's trying that. <laughs> Everyone is trying the Grand Tour, but I'll be there ten years earlier than you. Pathetic idiots. Thirty of everything, and we just have to manage heat. Be my guest. Two into six. Wow, look at that! Six turns, six commands. Jesus, that's a lot. And two into five. Two into five. That is more than doubling. So give me that. again. No data, amazing. Additional comms, perfect. I think that is the most prudent command actually. No, that is the only command, by the way, where we can produce heat. The other ones are using. Oh, this one's actually not bad. Good. What? Do it twice. All the data. And then that is tripling. That's uh, more than double. So more than double. Command's actually not bad. Extra navigation. Extra navigation, amazing. How to spot a Viking in Florida? Uh oh. Uh oh. The secret oven. I want to know. Find the part with the whole helmet, huh? <laughs> yeah. Emailed. So, uh, we have lots of commands left. I think we can make it to the bonus reward.
And like so. Bonus rewards. Amazing. <laughs> yeah, dude, uh, your back is so, yeah. That's why I constantly change position to uh, leaning and lean four. Yep, you fly by. Woo! Uh, bounty. Delay transmission. Phobos photography. There is. There is the Mars rover. Payload reliability. Ah, oh, that is not good. Mission training bonus is increased by 100%. So that is. Uh, um, Mars prep. Mars prep? Yeah. Yeah, please train for payload reliability. That's super important. Do it. Confirm. <laughs> On the one hand, I wish to live in the tropic climate so you could grow awesome stuff. Yeah. Uh, but then you think of all the dangerous bugs and animals and the heat. <laughs> yeah. Pros and cons. Always pros and cons. I have to mention uh, radiation. Ah, yeah. Zero radiation. Stupid. Machine. I think the 50 bonus is not going to happen. Wow. Three and five, between three and five. Are you crazy? Around here, you learn to dress light white, cotton clothes, and uh, multiple layers. Multiple layers, really? I would say uh, as light white as possible. The least amount of clothes possible. That would be my. Uh, Although not the least amount, um, cover your skin because sun, yeah. You can't grow anything, anything, uh, not anything unique. I don't say that, uh, I mean nothing is really unique. The stuff you can grow. Not even the pineapple is super unique. Okay, the only way to actually make stuff is here. Do this. Multiple layers lets the air blow through. Also, covering the skin keeps you cooler and keeps the sun from making you feel hot. Ah, yeah. See? <laughs> See? I learned a new thing. I wouldn't know how to dress. If I would visit Florida, you would. Uh, we would have to go to the uh, clothes store and... You would have to tell me, ah, uh, this, not that, and, mm. And like so. And that's it. Bonus reward. Okay, I think I managed the bonus reward here only because the fluctuating modifier was uh, nice. It was really cute and did not kick me in the nuts with adding 5 radiation. Okay, done this, done that. Now we have some money and a mission slot. Uh, well, tropic fruit is unique to the tropics. Yeah, but with global uh, supply chains, even if they are at the moment a bit wonky. Can we propose a mission? Propose joint mission. 
Polar Analysis. Mars. Okay, do this. Plan mission. You built me a better Mariner 8, I like that. Well, actually, stuff is growing in the winter. Um, not, not really, but uh, you can still live off the land. I mean, your uh, uh, forefathers did this quite successfully, uh, wouldn't you say? Maybe it's a bit boring, but it is possible. Okay, nothing. That is all on the way. Uh, by the way, where is Lunar Broadcast? I have to wait for this year. And yeah, the, we have to pass this first because here we get the, uh, the item, the component. I want to use that here to further increase uh, our reputation with the Japanese. Oh, wait, where's our. Oh, we almost allied. See? The bay tra debris tracker averts disaster. A ground based radar system designed to detect orbital debris uh, set up with the help of your agency has managed to prevent a potential disastrous coll collision involving a satellite belonging to Japan. Japan publicly praised the system and has provided additional financial backing to ensure its continuation. Gained reputation with the Japanese. Look at that. Five points, and then we are allied with the Japanese. Uh, yeah, BJ review. Oh, really? We have made it to tier 19. <laughs> you don't want to hunt or have chickens and such. You want a fancy living. See, that is something different. You could live off the land, even off your land. That is the couple two sec. The So, we gain, gain or lose to drift every turn, we have to keep it in the threshold, and 11-11. Again, orbital plane adjustment, this command appears every time. Okay, quadrupling. Oh, we have one turn left. Ah, it's only two turns. Ah, it was a bit us. It was a bit easy. Last turn, check. I have to do this. And we need... This. Bonus rewards. And recharge. Done. Bonus rewards. Fantastic. That's a good start. That's a really good start for the Philae mission. I think the last time I uh, f not, not failed, but I wasn't able to achieve the... Wow. Five phases. The bonus reward. It's kind of sad. So there's our Mariner 8 for the polar analysis of Mars. That is upgrade costs. Upgrade have no points. Oh, Jesus. 
Shit, wrong way around. Lunar broadcast. Launch preparations. Whew. Training. Payload reliability, please. Launch date. Here. Yeah, that is a mission I will uh, autos, uh, auto resolve. Let's save here. And yeah, I'm not going to build a rocket now. Mars mapped. An extensive high-resolution map of Mars, recorded by your orbiting, orbiting satellite, has wowed the pub, uh, public with an array of riverbeds, canyons, and extinct volcanoes, striking evidence of the red, planet, the red planet's active geological past. Gained a minor amount of support. SLS block one research complete. Good. And we're out of science. Dang it. Oh, 8,000. Yeah, but researching the missions is equally bad. Look at that. Everything everything costs around 8,000, 9,000. 8,800 is the cheapest now. The building costs me 20. Although uh, researching that would be amazing. Because building upkeep minus 25%. Operational efficiency. Not that I want this because... So look at that. costs me 10,000. I do not have to. I research SLS block 1B. The upper. Lunar broadcast. Launch mission. I, as threatened, I will run. Oh no. No, no, no. Reschedule. Okay. Now that was really too bad. Mass prep, ready for launch. Go. No negative event, perfect. Mass transfer trajectory. So I have to burn three times. That means we need six and three. And technically only uh, eight? Yeah, eight uh eight nav. Again, it's only two turns. <laughs> <laughs> I really have to look at the amount of commands and turns. Now I have to find two commands where I can find There it is. Perfect. Yeah, we have all the stuff and more than enough to uh, resist the failure. I mean not 10%, come on. We have a failure chance of one. One percent. Watch a new game. Woo. Well, that also five phases. You request mission available on Uranus. What 
What is it? The magnetics again. Mars lander commemorated. Your PR department has marked the 25th anniversary of placing a lander on Mars by releasing a series of limited edition posters which have sparked renewed interest in your future Mars mission. No broadcast, that is. Launch mission. Finally. Weather. I don't care, man. Launch it. Jesus. Achievement unlocked. One last job. Uh, sent an astronaut on a mission one month before their retirement. Okay. Yeah, look at that. We are leveling up our Ariana 6. Oh, and I couldn't auto resolve this. Your commands, four turns. I have to find six thrust, which is thrusting two times, but also creates drift. Are you serious? So the last turn is basically this. Conduct experiments because it goes four to the right and this is four to the left. So we need four extra comms, 16. 16 extra comms. And only 10 nav. Okay, where can we make Poms. Reduce me poms. Like so. There we have it. And now we have to find bombs. Wow, that is bad. We cannot. We had communications three at best here. Okay, I need one and four. So I will make two thruster burns, two con two controlled burns, not thruster burn for uh, We make two nav. Correct. We use four. Puts us down at thirteen. Enough. And for this, we have. Not enough input. I forgot about this one. Oh no! It's not four, we need six more. So we need 18. So we can do this. Yeah. <laughs> Yay! So data. Not that we need it. There we go. Bam. Ah, no, you cannot skip the missions, auto solve the missions. Because that is Luna. Oh, no, I forgot. Oh, that is so boring here. We gain drift three every turn. And we make some extra drift here. Mmm, that is so nice. Twenty comms, really? Uh, 
Enjoy me, Elven. So I think I have all the... Almost all the... Come on, I cast. Da 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 da. Faster, faster. Um... Actually, I can. We end up at two, one to zero to minus one. If I do not increase it, I think I can. Oh wait, I can. I can increase it by one actually. The drift. I mean, since we. Oh no, we gain. Oh wait, wrong direction. I thought we would lose. No, we gain. Oh. Dang it, so I have to do this. Jesus. <gasps> I think I botched it. Oh no. I have to do this. Several times. Next turn, I have to turn, I have to find all the stuff here. Jeez. Last turn. Oh, really? By accident, I found the bonus rewards. I can't remember. I can't believe it. Descent. Oh, that is so long. I hate moon missions. Net. Six net. Extra net. Find the mistake. Six commands left. I have to find lots of data actually. What's that? Okay, if I do this, then next turn I need one and two flight path control. Oh, we made it. Perfect. Bonus award. There we go. Dock with command module. Ugh. Okay, keep drift at zero, but no modifiers. That is good. That is very good. Three commands, four turns. That's not much. I think it will do this three times. Going all the energy, but 
Oh, wait. Oh, we are at zero again. We have some comms I could use here for data. And I just need to do this here a couple of times. I think we can make it to the base reward. So, how about. Next turn I do this and we have it. To conduct experiments we have to come so that and the manpower drift is where it should be or has to be. So like this, recharge and go. And now last phase, control to entry, come on. Make haste. We gain between 2 and 3. We have to keep it below 3. And again, remember, we can go over 3. Eat. 20 comms and 12 nav. Again, opposite plane adjustment. Why is it 2 energy, man? That's so expensive. Except failure. It's only one data, I think we can live without that. Of course, we gain three. Mm -hmm. So I have to do this. Let me do that. And. There's the bonus reward. One turn early. Crazy. Perfect. Amazing. 71. The Japanese. And we have the component which we don't need. <laughs> now we already done it. Okay. But at least we made some uh, signs. Relationship with Japan is now allied. New request mission available on Earth. Orbital way station. This station is designed to act as a resupply point for other space missions. Astronauts can use the station to transfer between sta uh, spacecraft and spacecraft can use it to refuel and replenish. Yeah, that is something I always wanted to do in a Kerbal Space Program, but I was not able to. I never made it that far. To have a uh, yeah, Kerbal stationary station where you could uh, refuel. Or a station at all, just something that would be um, Kerbal Stationary. Okay, we have one mission slot available. And technically we have two available, uh, since this one polar mission to Mars is... Wait, what was I? Here? Uh, 
use the Vivan. Vivan. Uh, upgrade costs. Okay. Still. This one. The 2 k Confirm. Go. Build it. Super cheap. I like it. Mid course maneuver. Um, continue mission. Can I auto solve that, please? No. Okay, we have 12 commands. Mm, we lose thrust. I have to thrust two times. It means 24 and 17. Hmm. Is doubling that is tripling. Yeah, I'm thinking about getting Kerbal Space Room 2 when it comes out. When it comes out, yeah. I'm actually looking forward to that. Uh, first, I want to see. Uh, I'm I'm maybe not buy it immediately when it comes out, but because I want to see if the new comp company understands stuff and how the game will yeah be when it comes out. But I'm interested. I'm seriously interested. Because a better looking, more detailed, refined uh, Kerbal Space Room would be amazing. Oh, that is a super weird mission. I think you can't make it again. Bonus. So that would be the thrust. I'm supposed to find 17 and 7. Makes absolutely no sense, Jesus. Okay, this mission is impossible. Uh, to, it's impossible to gain the bonus reward. Okay, so be it. I don't care, man. I think you cannot uh, auto-resolve the missions, uh, the milestone missions. I think that is why I... Couldn't do it. World Watchers Lunar Broadcast. Millions worldwide tuned in to watch the live lunar broadcast conducted by astronauts after their successful landing on the moon. Your PR team attrib uh, attributed the record viewing figures to your agency granting free broadcasting rights to all television stations. In a popular section of the broadcast, uh, astronaut Tony Sorrento performed an unscripted leaping moonwalk, which Mission Control described as mildly alarming. <laughs> Fake news, yeah. <laughs> also, that is 400 support. I'm in 2000 and what is it, 6 or so, or whatever. 400 support. I need thousands of support. This should be at least one, uh, 1500, 1500, 2000, or 4000. Ah, the game becomes super imbalanced at the end. Look at that. I need... For the next funding tier, I need... Where is it? Bloop funding... Required support. I need 20,000 more. 20,000. Not 400. 
Science for all. Uh, some research can only be done in the microgravity of space. Uh, the picture isn't loading. This is a problem for researchers. Uh, for researchers the world over. This is a problem for researchers all over the world or of the world. The world over. That, that, that sounds super weird. As there is no way to replicate these conditions on Earth. A consortium of scientists have approached you with a proposal to send Professor Pierre Marie from their group into space and I take a number of simple short duration experiments. Many of these projects have multiple stages with only one uh, part needing to be done in space. And so the professor intends to involve students from around the world. They will both help prepare the experiments for launch and study the results when they return. Your PR department sees the potential of this sort of citizen astronaut program sees the potential of this sort of citizen astronaut program and is supporting the proposal. Yeah, do it. The value of education. Now is there... Oh. Uh, the one being researched. It's still more than a Benelot, uh, Benelot when you want clan tier 5. That's a grind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Benelord. So is this the space tourism mission? See, that is also something. Uh, I have accepted the, their proposal. Is it, is it space tourism? I guess it is. Uh, build a Gemini. Research. I uh, researched... Uh, Super expensive block two. That costs ten thousand. Polar analysis. That was also the joint mission. Uh, let's go for super science here. Uh, launch date. Wow, it's not too good. Okay, may it is. I don't want to lose the rocket. Uh, by the way, new request mission? No. Why do I have to build it again? I already built it. Jesus. Too bad. Uh, see, the monthly reward is really not that good. I don't care about the uh, 10k upkeep, but the reward is. Yeah. I only did this because. Yeah. By the way. Decommission date 26. Uh, let's save here. I'll never know. Mass prep, continue. See, you cannot auto resolve this. So we lose again drift. Match drift. 35. Are you sure? Uh, recently I read the update news uh, for Banner Lord for the newest version, what is it, 1.8 or so. And they uh, said, and I read all the stuff in the forum because it was too long for the Steam update news. And I read all the stuff they did to the economy. And I have to say, if they had to do this, then the economy in the game is pretty bare bone. I think that is a bit tragic. But yeah, the improvements are real improvements, that's good, but... Ah, too bad. So a proper trader gameplay is not really doable or interesting. That's way too easy order. Or are they... Uh they mentioned something I encountered, and that is uh, if you uh, play as a trader or try trading, 
uh, five years into the game, uh, it is super hard to sell stuff except for some resources that kind of glitch out and that is donkeys. All the other resources, uh, after five years, there is equilibrium in all the cities and nobody uh, needs something for for actual money, except there was a siege and the city is starving, then you can sell stuff. But other than that, it's almost impossible. No, I have not tried Bannerlord online. Oh, this is dangerous what I'm doing here. Can we find... No. Too bad. Hey! Hey, that works! Oh, that is amazing! Oh, fantastic. Rover deployment. Twelve commands. We lose five drift every turn and we have to keep it between eight and nine. Ooh, that is... That is going to be something. to use all my energy to make this somewhat happen. Additional data, I like it. Let's do this again. Let's, let's try again. Maybe we find a combination. We can make it to the bonus rewards. Uh, how? Uh, and drift. Um, there are resources, but not the drift. Now I would have to sacrifice, or maybe we we'll recharge once. Do this, and still not enough. We have to do once one thing. Oh, that's the wrong direction. Too bad. Or maybe we don't go three. that and there it is perfect and cannot afford to lose navigation uh, data and comms is ruined perfect That Mars Rover, woo! And now we're uh, now we're gonna power wash it.
Oh, still two phases. Oh, what? A thousand for one month. Almost a thousand. Man. Perseverance descent captured. The dramatic landing of your Perseverance rover on Mars has been captured in stunning full color video. <laughs> full color. <laughs> Yay! Thanks to additional cameras attached to the payload. In the footage, which instantly went viral across the world, Perseverance can be seen being lowered to the surface by an elaborate skycrane system. A storm of Martian dust kicking up as the rover safely touches down. Your PR team are ecstatic with the results as are agency engineers. The footage has enabled them to study in unprecedented detail the performance of the landing systems in the Martian atmosphere. Gain support and science. Nice. SLS block 2 research complete. Oh no, NASA failed Uranus flyby. No. Oh, too bad, NASA. I was rooting for you. Rooting, rooting, shooting. Okay, the last two rockets. 6,000 and 2,800. Wow, that is cheap. NASA completed X-ray telescope in third new joint mission on Earth. Power module. Diplomatic mission with the Russians. Uh, I want to do this. We need that. Let's do stuff with the Russians. Let's bring them in the boat. Mars mission continues to astound. A breathtaking photo captured by your Ingenuity helicopter on Mars has featured in newspapers around the world. Taken during a historic 90-second flight, the image shows a vast landscape strewn with rocks and craters, capped by distant Martian mountains. Meanwhile, a sample retrieval lander launched as part of the same mission is due to land on Mars in a few months' time. The lander will use compact fetch a compact fetch rover to collect uh, samples previously drilled and catched by the Perseverance rover before launching them towards Earth. Ground tour, next mission phase. NASA completed Saturn Orbiter in second place. Pluto flyby. There is the final ground tour. So, and in 10 months, uh, there is another Pluto flyby. The, the Pluto flyby. All right, uh, heat will be reset to zero every turn. We have six turns and six commands. That's a lot. And yeah, we just have to uh, make heat. One heat. This heat input? Yeah, here. So we actually can use heat. But that is tricky to get, isn't it? So that's doubling. Oh, that's not really worth it. That is not bad. But that needs a lot of heat. So we're ready to do that and this. Like so. Uh, that is going to be a tricky mission. Uh, I mean, the bonus awards are going to be super tricky. Okay, producing comms is going to be the challenge. Yeah, but now I have produced two heat. See? Dangerous. Yeah, that, that command is rubbish.
Now I'll go here. Pushing comps, nice. That, this. And maybe I should go crazy with this one, burn some energy and like so. Yeah, I'm confident. That looks good. Additional data, nice. That's what we need. Everything working as intended. So I still need 20. Looks like I'm in the 50% bonus reward business. Fantastic. I would just need There we are. Bonus. Yeah, buy some uh, buy some heat and recharge. Perfect. Grand tour. A success all around. So, 750 for six months, and now, now we can start the transmission. We held off for so long. Complete the Grand Tour first. <laughs> I think that uh, the Grand Tour, that is the mission I, uh, yeah, I really want to do, and I really want to be first here. Everything else, I don't care, man. Transmission received. Scientists working on your mission, the Grand Tour, have initiated a transmission from the payload, receiving an immense amount of additional data accumulated over the course of the mission. This will keep us going for years, an excited researcher commented. The science gain has been further increased due to the fact your agency completed this milestone mission first. 8,000 signs. Bam. Look at that. Research. Do this immediately and then we switch over to the last building, which will increase our income because less upkeep. Naming Pluto features. In anticipation of the high resolution images your Pluto fly by mission will return, your PR team have proposed inviting the public to suggest names for newly discovered surface features on the dwarf planet. The campaign will help build awareness for the mission. Fund campaign. Come on. The, the 200, we have the 200. File landing. Research. So look at that. We are done with uh, uh, rockets or vehicles. Vehicle mastery, 10% launch reliability. That is basically irrelevant. So we go here. Docking training facility. 10,000. Oh, I don't have that kind of money. Okay, so also, folks. Wow, it's, it's late. It's late. So let me save here. I definitely will come back to the game and finish it since it is yeah not that far. The finish line is not that far. Look at that, we are done with the vehicles, buildings, it's only this building uh, yeah, left. And look at that, we are almost uh, making uh, 10,000 signs in the next month. So that is 50% of this research. And then it's the missions. We have to uh, research 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 missions. Or uh, stuff here in the missions tree. The robotic rover, the Rosalind Franklin uh, payload, whatever that is. And then the ground tab, the crude rover. Yeah, till tomorrow, uh, Ratchet. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> we will see, we will see. There is a good chance I'll return to this. So, yeah. Yeah, but for today, 
that's it. Uh, tomorrow, Stray. I already downloaded it. I will test it. I hope it works. Uh, yeah. And tomorrow will be a cat. Uh, Stray, a, a third cat cat venture in a, a, a neon noir city. Fantasy uh, future city. So that's going to be amazing. So, uh, folks, uh, shall we raid someone? I haven't raided in a long time. Lupe! Lupe is playing Zelda! <laughs> let's raid Lupe, folks. Let's raid Lupe. So, uh, let's prepare a um, raid message. Lulu who? <laughs> Senor Lupington. Lupeton. So let's prepare a, a simple uh, rate message here. Bomb. So that is a free message. Uh, copy if you like. And follow me to the rate. Follow. Let's rate. Looper. So, folks, again. Thanks for watching, thanks for hanging out. I will be uh, back tomorrow at 12 CST with Stray. Stay safe, take care, bye.